Welcome on back to Skippers today. We are going to look at four sleeper hitters for fantasy baseball with an ADP past 200. For the shallower leagues, these are some guys you can get. Take a flyer on kind of with your last picks, but if you're in deeper leagues, these are guys that present some high upside where they are being taken. Nonetheless, I feel like they will significantly outperform their ADPs. Don't forget to subscribe as we have more fantasy baseball content coming your way every weekday up until the start of the Major League Baseball season. First one is Junior Caminero of the Rays. He's an infield with an ADP of 203. Last season in the minors, he hit 324, 31 home runs, 94 driven in five stolen bases and an OPS of 976. The issue with Caminero is the chance that he doesn't make the team out of camp, but I'm thinking that the Rays are going to struggle and going to be hurting for offense kind of early on, that he will get the call up fairly quickly in the season. We got to see Caminero play seven games in the big leagues last season for Tampa, and although the counting stats weren't crazy, the batted ball data is what should get you excited heading into this season and for the future. This is a tweet from Gecko Industries on Twitter. From when they started tracking exit velocities, there have only been eight instances where a 19 or 20 year old has put up a max exit velocity of at least 112 miles an hour and only two instances of 19 year olds doing it. And Caminero did it as a 19 year old in only 36 plate appearances. The 20 year olds who did this were Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr., Carlos Correa, Ronald Acuna Jr., Juan Soto, and Rafael Devers. And Soto was the one only other one to do it at 19 years old. That is a pretty great group of guys to be uh, looped in with. Caminero hit his 31 home runs last season in only 117 games and has legit 40 plus home run potential in the future. We even got a nice little treat with Caminero hitting a home run yesterday, showing off his effortless power against the Baltimore Orioles. And I came across an Eric Cross tweet, and Eric Cross is the guy who specializes in prospects, where he said he fully expects Junior Caminero to join the likes of Austin and Riley and Rafael Devers in the top third base tier by the end of 2024. Junior Caminero is a special player with special exit velocities, and he has a great chance to win Rookie of the Year should the Rays give him a chance early enough in the season. There are some great options for Rookie of the Year, but I really believe in what Caminero can do. The Guardians have to be kicking themselves looking back at the trade for Caminero in exchange for Tobias Myers due to a Rule 5 roster crunch in Tampa Bay. Caminero is the best third base prospect in baseball and will make an immediate impact when he makes the major leagues. Second sleeper hitter is Logan Ohoppy. He is a catcher for the Angels and he has an ADP of 214. Last season in the major leagues, he had a 236 average, 14 home runs. He drove in 29. He didn't steal a base and his way to runs creative plus was 113. Looking at the ADP of catchers, I think Logan Ohoppy can outperform at least three catchers who are ranked above him. Looking at his 51-game stint in the major leagues last season that was broken into two parts, not thanks to labrum surgery in his left shoulder, I am back in on him thanks to his strong finish. When you see guys coming back, it's the same with the Vinny Pascantino thing I said a couple episodes ago, kind of monitor how they go, but Ohoppy came back and had a very strong September. When he came back from the rehab stint, he ended up hitting 111 in the month of August, then the September, like I said, was great. In his 50 at-bats in April before the injury, Ohapi hit four home runs and had a 560 slug in 92 at-bats. And in September, he hit nine home runs with a 547 slug. He's been an elite run producer in his healthy months in the big leagues, and I don't think that's going to change heading into 2024. When you look at Ohapi's numbers last season, there's not a lot of things that would be super red flags for regression. He did strike out a decent amount, but that's just who he is in his profile. He had a bad average on balls in play of 240. Obviously, he hit a ton of home runs and home runs don't count positively towards your batting average on balls in play, but you would think he would be able to hit for some more average in 2024. You don't just find guys that slug over 500 on the street. And looking at last year, he had a great expected weighted on base average and expected slug the same as his actual slug, an average exit velocity of 90.5 miles an hour an elite barrel percentage and great hard hit percentage. There should also be a lot more of DH at bats available as well, thanks to Shohei Otani going to the other side of LA. I think he will outperform his rank of 147th hitter off the board. The third sleeper bat is Michael Garcia 
of the Royals, an infielder, mainly played third base last season, and his ADP is 257. The counting stats from last year, a 272 average, four home runs, 50 driven in, 23 stolen bases, but a weight of runs created plus of 84. Michael Garcia had a really interesting 2023 season as he dropped his zone contact rate by five percentage points from the year before, but upped his average exit velocity by six miles an hour and max exit velocity by 10 miles an hour. There are the underlying stats for a really good hitter when you look at Michael Garcia's 2023 season. His expected batting average was in the 82nd percentile. Average exit velocity in the 87th percentile. A low barrel percentage would make sense. He only hit four home runs, but he had a hard hit percentage over 50%, which put him in the 93rd percentile. He had a sweet spot percentage in the 76th percentile, as well as a chase percentage and whiff percentage over the 82nd percentile. This is a player who rarely whiffed last season while making a ton of hard contact. When you look at a profile, what more could you want from that? He also chimed in with 23 stolen bases. And although it was a league-wide surge in stolen bases, you want to be on the right side of that still. Now, the keys to third base are fully his. And this is someone who could help you out in a ton of roto leagues where one of your categories is average. Uh, and again, he can help with the stolen bases. We are just hoping for some more extra base hits from Michael Garcia. And if what we saw in the Venezuelan Winter League is any sign, then we are cooking. He slashed 424, 543, 576 in 29 games in the Venezuelan Winter League. He only had 99 at-bats, but in those 99 at-bats, he had nine doubles, two home runs, and 21 RBIs. I think Michael Garcia is a great sleeper and bound to break out in the extra base hit department in 2024. And the last sleeper hitter is Jackson Merrill, a shortstop slash outfielder from the Padres. He has an ADP of 449. Last season in the minors, he hit 277, 15 home runs, 64 driven in, 15 stolen bases, and a way to runs created plus of 107. We like Jackson Merrill at this ADP because he is basically free in your drafts and it looks like he'll be starting at some position in the Padres outfield when they go to break camp. He's already started at left field this spring and today was hitting second and playing center field. He was a primary shortstop coming up but the Padres pretty much have no outfield depth at all that they decided to put Merrill in uh, in the outfield and we've seen him make some great plays in the first couple games of spring training. He does again only have shortstop eligibility at this point but will have outfield eligibility when they get into the season if he breaks camp with the team. He played just 46 games at AA last season, slashing 273, 338, 444 with five home runs and 31 RBIs, five stolen bases with a really low strikeout rate. These numbers are impressive as he was four and a half years younger than the average AA player. Jackson Merrill is a huge body as well. And with his frame, you think he'd be able to hit for some more power in the near future. He's six foot three, but looks to have added more weight than his listed 195. I read a Chris Tower article where he commented by saying Merrill started hitting the ball in the air a lot more when he got to double A and he isn't sure if he'll be a 30 homer guy projecting something like 15-15 with a helpful batting average as a rookie and that isn't asking too much and it certainly isn't his ceiling. This is a last round sleeper option that if he struggles early on and they're talking about sending him down to get more stuff, you just dump for someone who is hot on your waiver wire. At this ADP, there is not a lot of risk. And there it is, four sleeper hitter options with ADPs all outside 200. Let me know what players you like as sleeper hitters. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.